Today I will show you guys how to create an image comparison slider using HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. So let me show you what do I mean by image comparison slider. So if I were to change this slider, you'll see it looks like we are removing the background of the image. But actually that is not what is happening. So let me just minimize this back. And if I were to show you the image, so one image is this image, Robert Downey Jr. with this background and we have another image which is the same image except this time the background is transparent. And by changing the slider, we are basically comparing two images side by side. So this is actually the image with background and in this side we have the image without background. So this is giving us the illusion of removing background. If I were to use some different image, so let me change back. And now this should make more sense. You'll see I have one image with original color and one image gray scaled and by changing the slider we can basically compare the images side by side so this is one image and this is another image and just like this we can basically compare between two images or compare the difference between two images side by side so this should be a useful and a interesting project so let's get started so let me close this window and i'm going to start fresh in a new folder so let me open this with vs code so in this folder I just have those four images, these images here and you can use any images, doesn't matter. So let's start by creating our index.html or style.css and finally our main.js in the html we can simply type exclamation mark and hit tab and it will generate a basic boilerplate and let me close the sidebar so control B and here we can use the link text so we can say link and we are going to link our style sheet and let's link our javascript file also so we're going to say script the source will be main.js and if we open it up with our live server we have an empty page so let's add some more content here so we're going to create a container and inside that we're going to have an image div so div with a class of image this one i'm going to also give it a class of left so this will be our left image inside that we're going to have an actual image tag so we're going to say img and for now let's just say the source will be img underscore 3 dot jpg like so save and we have an image but this is very big as you can see this is very big so let me just comment out the image for now again we don't have anything so let's just say hello here so here is our hello let's go to our style sheet and here first i'm going to say everything should have a margin of zero like so so now the white space here has been removed after that we are going to target our html and our body and we are going to say both of them will have a height of 100 percent 100 percent like so after that we can target just our body and we are going to say our body will have a display of flex so display of flex and then we can set justify content to center so justify content center and we can say align items to center so align items center also and now our container is in the center so let's target our container let's give it a border so we can see it so border can be three pixel solid red and here is our container okay let's also give it a size and for the size, I'm going to declare a CSS variable here. You can declare a variable by using double dash and then give it a name. So I can give it a name size. And this for this one, I'm going to use a min function. So we can say min. And here we can say 80 viewport width, 80 viewport height. So the minimum size of our viewport. So if the width of our window, so for example, now the width is greater than the height. So the size will be 80 viewport height. And if the height was greater than the width, in that case the size will be 80 viewport width so whatever the minimum value is that way our container can be responsive on all screen sizes so now we can say width equals to dash dash size var dash dash size like so and we can do the same for our height save and here is our container and it does not matter if our orientation is landscape or portrait or in other words what our screen size is the container should be very responsive okay now we can remove the hello text uncomment our image like so and we are going to have two images so i'm going to simply copy this all shape down for this one i'm going to give it a class of right and the image can be img4 save and you can see everything is out of our containers let's fix it so i'm going to say dot img the div with the class of img and the image inside that actually before that i'm also going to say our container will have a position of relative so position relative that way our image can have a position of fix so we're going to say that container and the div with a class of image inside that will have a position of absolute absolute 
and we can also say top 0 and left 0 so top 0 left 0 save and now the grayscale image is above the original image original color image that's that is why we can see it let's also give it some height and width so we're going to say width equals to 100% and the height equals to 100% save and nothing have changed yet but now we can say dot img and target the image inside that we can say the height will be 100% so height 100% for the width we are going to use the size variable so we are going to say width equals to var so var dash dash size like so and here is our image but this is not looking very good so we are also going to say object fit so object fit to cover like so and now the image is much better we can remove the border now okay now let's try to target the image on the right side so we are going to say dot container dot img and dot right so the image div with the class of right this one will have a left of 100% so left of 100% save and this is out of our container once again so we are again going to say transform equals to translate x to negative 100% so now it is back and now if I were to say width width to let's say 50% okay the image should also have a overflow of hidden so we are going to say overflow hidden if we do this as you can see they are not looking how we wanted them to look we are also going to say this will have a position of relative so position relative and again let's say dot img dot right and target the image inside that this will again have a position of fixed i'm saying fixed again and again but i mean absolute sorry so position absolute and then we are also going to say the top zero not left but right to zero so right equals to zero if we do this as you can see now it is looking how we wanted it to look okay and if our width was let's say 60 percent this looks like this if our width was zero we can't see it at all if we say it 100 percent it looks grayscale or the right image takes all the width so by changing the width we'll be able to compare our images okay so for that i'm going to create an input so after this we are going to have an input so input and the type will be range so input type range and we don't need the name or id instead we are going to say the minimum value will be zero the maximum value will be 100 the default value will be 50 so by default the width will be 50 percent and we can give it a class of slider and here is our slider so let's target it in our CSS let me copy the class here go to our styler CSS paste it and here we can say this one will have a width of 100% so width 100% and we can just give it a position of absolute again so position absolute and we can say bottom to negative 20% actually negative 20 pixel that way this will be a little below our container let's try 30 and I think 30 should be good enough and now when we change our slider this image the width of this image should also change so we are going to do that in our javascript so here we are going to say const slider equals to document dot query selector dot slider and then we are also going to target our right image so we are going to say img right equals to document dot query selector dot img dot right so the image div with also a class of right and then we can say slider dot add event listener so slider dot add event listener we are going to listen for the change event when we when it is changed we are going to run this function and here we can simply say img write so img write dot style dot width equals to our slider dot value plus percent if we are to do this save it and now if we change our slider as you can see if we make it 100 percent the width is 80 percent if we make it 20% the width is 20% but actually it is giving us the opposite effect so what we can do is wrap it inside a parenthesis and instead of saying slider, slider dot value we can say 100 minus slider dot value if we do this and now as you can see our effect is much better but still if I just change my slider it does not change the width unfortunately so the change event only occurs after I have changed the slider and release my mouse this is not what I want I want the width to change whenever I move the mouse so for that we can use a mouse move event instead of change so mouse move save and now whenever I move my mouse as you can see the width of the right image changes along with and this gives us the image comparison effect so I can change back to our Iron Man image so we can say img1.png so image1.png and here we can say image2.png 
like so if I save it and now this gives us the illusion of removing background. And with this we have successfully created an image comparison slider using HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing and I will see you next time.